Hey everybody, this is Matthew from MiniWarGaming.com. I'm quite excited right now because we just got in a nice big shipment of these. That's right. Today is Tuesday. These come out this Saturday and they're on pre-order right now. A limited release. They're only doing one production run on these things. We've already sold a ton of them so that we just received about 30 of them that we're going to be shipping out tomorrow morning. So we're really excited and what we're going to do right now is we're going to open this box so you can see what's in it because I've actually been really excited to get this because I like I, I like the game Space Hulk and I know it'll be a lot of fun. So I'm going to unbox it here so you can see it. Christmas. I feel like I just got a present. <laughs> anyway, so there's the back. Ah, it's still glossy. Oh well, I'll just open it up. This thing is really heavy. As you'll find out when you get your copy. Take a look at this. Now the models are not supplied painted, but they do have the a base coat of you know, kind of a blue purple for the Tyranid and red for the, the Terminators. So you can still paint them. They actually, let's take a look at these. You know what, these have Oh yeah, these are really good quality. These are nice details. They're just almost just like the regular Games Workshop miniatures. Feels of the same quality. Almost feels like the same plastic. Could actually be the same plastic, just a different color. So if you're wondering if you can buy these and convert them, definitely. So even if you're just going to buy this just for these unique Terminators, that would be a good investment right there. And then all these Gene Stealers. So many different sculpts. I believe there's two of each in here. And I know there's a Broodlord in here somewhere. Look at all that. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, this is the Broodlord, I believe, right here. Of course, you can't see all the parts of him. He's got all these skulls at the bottom. And you notice how he looks different than the Broodlord we have right now. And also another interesting tidbit for you. We're no longer able to get Tyranid Battle Forces or Tyranid Codexes for the rest of the year. So if you try to buy them off our website, you won't be able to. Games Workshop hasn't told us why, but you can probably come up with your own conclusion there. Okay, let's check this out. Of course, we got some dice. It's a timer. It's an hourglass timer. Some baggies, probably to throw your random stuff in. Okay. And this is the board. So there's some assembly required. You gotta glue the miniatures together. And if you really want to get into it, you'll want to paint the miniatures. Like take a look at take a look at these paint jobs. That's what you want your miniatures to look like. Of course these are done by the heavy metal team, so not everybody's gonna be able to do it to this standard. But you can still put on some details and make your space hulk board really, really cool. So this is the rule book, a mission book and a rule book. Got a bunch of counters, little blip counters and everything. Explosion markers. Oh, and here's the doors. Look at all the different kinds of doors. So your board will actually look really neat. These are, this is nice thick card. So it's really good quality. It's not just a flimsy paper stock or something. Here's all your, your hallways. You can see they're all interchangeable. So you can make pretty much any configuration you want. Floors there. Oh, even more floors. than all the doors and everything. What's in here? These look like rooms. And once again, they're all interchangeable. They have the same tiling, which means you can attach pretty much any hallway to them, or even one room to another. These are actually really nice looking. I, was, I wasn't completely convinced when I heard that it was just going to be like this, where it's all two-dimensional. But these actually look really good. So. And they're larger bases now, they're not the, the tiny, so let's measure this. Now it's more like one and a quarter inch, so it's about 30 millimeters. So that should fit your miniatures quite nicely, especially these ones they've made, they've designed them to be this way. But even if you wanted to use your own custom miniatures, they should fit, especially because these are all single file hallways, so if it spills over a bit on the sides, that's okay. So you have all sorts of rooms here. This looks like an entryway or a bulkhead. And then lots of different colors in the rooms. More entryways. Oh, and little junctions for the hallways. So you can have uh, crossroads right here. You can have them going to different places. Really design it for the boards however you want. Although I know that they have suggested patterns for different missions. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all there is in here. There's just more counters. I know, I want to play this too. We'll have to set this up today. We'll play a game, maybe we'll do a battle report. Oh yes, and then we have the, the scoreboard right here. So you can keep track of score. I'm not actually sure of all the rules of this game. We're gonna learn that. So I'm not sure what all of this is used for, but this is pretty cool looking. I must say I'm, I'm very impressed with the quality of this. And you can look forward to 
at least one battle report. We will do a battle report. The only thing that people have difficulty with this is the price. I believe it retails for $120 Canadian or $100 American. But if you take a look at it, there is a lot to this. Like even if we just looked at the price of the models, I was thinking that these were gonna be some cheap plastic, which is uh, just helps them make more money with it. But this is pretty much the same quality plastic that you get in all your kits. And there is enough here for, how many Terminators does it include? The back of this, this is gonna be a quick guide. We got 22 Gene Stealers and 12 Terminators and one Broodlord. And uh, a Terminator squad that you get in a box is typically five Terminators and it's like $40. So that's two boxes at least. So that's like $80 of Terminators plus a bit more. And there's 22 Gene Stealers and a box of those is, uh, I believe, eight of them for, well, our price is 32, but it's around $40. And so that's three of those boxes. So you're looking at the equivalent of about $200 plus retail of miniatures. And you're getting all that, like even if just the miniatures, if it was $120 just for the miniatures, that would be, that would be worth it, especially if you want to get these. They're like collector's miniatures, basically. This is really good stuff here. And then of course you get the whole board, which is not, I, the video is not gonna do it justice. This is really nice stuff like this. This is nice, uh, durable material. It's not going to just get ripped and everything like you do with other board games. As soon as you use them a bit, they start to rip apart. So this is this is really high quality. So I highly recommend it. It's limited release. I can't promise how many more we'll have. I know we've already sold 85% of our inventory, a bit of what we pre-ordered, and then I pre-ordered more, and we're actually selling more of that too. So if we go to our website, there will be a link in this video link in the video description or below the video if you're watching this on miniwargaming.com that will take you right to the pre-order page. And of course, we'll keep it up after it comes out to as long as it's available. As soon as it's not available, we'll take it off our website and unfortunately, you won't be able to get it anymore. And unlike Blood Bowl, this actually is gonna be limited in that they don't have any plans of re-releasing it after that. So I would get it while you can. You can't afford $120 going out with a friend or two because there is plenty here for several players to play, paint, and, and do. Okay, so Space Hulk, it's awesome. I'm excited to play and get all these models together. Again, this is Matthew from MiniWarGaming.com. Click on the link in the video description to the right if you're watching this on YouTube, or blow me if you're watching this on MiniWarGaming.com to go straight to the pre-order page for Space Hulk. Happy Wargaming.